Early this year, the government issued a self-imposed ban on the export of fruits and vegetables to the European Union due to the problem of quality and standards of the products that were leaving the country. Since the imposing of the ban, assessment has been done on the exporters and more than half of them have now been given the green light to resume their exports. Uh, we have been able to do a reassessment of the compliance of a number of exporting companies. I think out of the 53, 28 companies have been uh, reassessed and uh, cleared to continue exporting to the EU. Going forward, in order to ensure that the quality and standards are upheld, the authorities are formulating policies to streamline the sector's operations. And therefore, we are developing a national SPS uh, policy, uh, which will ensure that we introduce uh, SPS management and control aspects in all the aspect, or in all the activities. Uh, addressing export of fresh fruits and vegetables. But beyond that, the issue of traceability is being treated as key, with focus being turned on keeping tabs on all the players involved in the value chain. We are developing uh, a quality and management system uh, that will enable us to look at key stakeholders along the value chain. Uh, so as to improve on the quality of the products at various stages and the production level, transport level, uh, uh, packaging, packing houses and also at the airport. The ban of the export of fruits and vegetables to the European Union, if not lifted, is one that could affect the country including its balance of payments. Ingrid Nantege, NTV. Business.